Welcome to the recap of today's Creative Commons open source office hours. We were live streaming on codebuddies.org. Today we've been continuing working on a task for Creative Commons base, which is a theme that is used across Creative Commons properties, including creativecommons.org. We have a series of Figma mockups, and we're wanting to take each of those, they're the primary pages of Creative Commons org, and we want to decompose these a little bit. We're switching away from hard-coded templates over to using the Gutenberg editor for page layouts. So far, we've gone through, as of today, three sections and built those out using the Gutenberg editor and various page layout widgets. The section we were focusing on is essentially a column layout, three columns, with images, paragraph, and another um, paragraph, um, which isn't as prominent, but essentially I think is better than using a header element or something like that, which would give the uh, appearance we're looking for here, but be at the uh, risk of using an appropriate semantic element it's always a trade-off uh, you got to be considerate of i suppose and um, oftentimes it's these headers are misused to control text size which is not their semantic purpose overall um, the layout was fairly easy to make a couple of snags though one thing is by default this is the column block whoops and if you don't define a background color, the column block doesn't have padding. So the content will, will um, essentially go right up against the edge there. And it was a surprise at first because this column block has padding. I was like, well, what's the difference between these column blocks? Why does that one? Uh, behave ex as expected and, and this one not and it turns out there's a CSS rule I'm sure I'm getting the right element here here we go that applies <laughs> to these block elements to these uh, column elements only when there's a background color in this case it has uh, let's see where we are. WP block columns has background color, then it gets padding. If you don't add a background color, this rule will not apply. It has background. So that was a surprise. I believe it's kind of a bug. I think the padding and background should be decoupled. If I define a background, I'm not really intending yeah, necessarily to change the padding. I'm just trying to think if there's a use case for that. In any case, our mockups, uh, for the most part, do have uh, spacing and padding, so I needed to add that. <laughs> There's no way, uh, to my knowledge, to just add padding or control layout, uh, except by adding CSS classes, and we're trying to avoid having our editors do that. So I'll um, take a look at uh, the Gutenberg backlog and the issues, see if there's already uh, some discussion about that. Other than that, um, everything else in the design pretty much worked, aside from um, not having a font size control, to my knowledge. There may be a plugin for that or something like that. We're trying to avoid WordPress plugins to the extent possible. But we're able to center align things. The text can be center aligned, middle aligned. Uh, I think overall the output pretty well follows the Figma design. It's not going to be pixel perfect. We don't have that expectation, of course. And we know there will be um, compromises we'll need to make as we implement these designs. Overall, though, I'm still impressed by the uh, Gutenberg editing experience, and we'll be glad to allow our page build, our content editors to build their own page layouts and change them uh, over time. Cool. This has been a recap of today's CodeBuddies.org live coding session for the Creative Commons. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.